G'day, Andrew Murray from the Apartment Specialists. Can you rely on the sales in your building to give you an idea of what the value of your apartment is? And the answer is sometimes, but in many cases, no. So that probably makes you think, well, how am I supposed to know what the value of my apartment is? Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you why you can't rely on those sales, why you can't solely rely on those sales, and secondly, why you can do about it to make sure you've got a good idea of what your apartment's worth. Now, I'm going to use the analogy of car yards, where they sell cars. Now, in every city, you've got a street where you've got car yards, they're all in the same place, one after each other, after another. Now, would you go to one of those car yards, one when there's about 20 of them, and look at their sales of the last year, and, you know, let's say each lot's got 60 cars on it, and you see those sales, and use that as your only way of finding out what cars are worth, or the car you're interested in is worth? The answer is no. And the same applies with apartments. Now, in apartment, in, I'm sorry, in Auckland Central, there's over 24,000 apartments, so that's increasing. And there's over 450 buildings, apartment buildings in, in Auckland. And each one, yes, is different. But for every apartment building, there's about five or six other buildings at least that are very, very similar. Now, I'll often see sales in one building, and the other building will be very, very similar, yet one building is selling for much higher than the other. Now, I'll be looking for buildings like this because I know I can raise the values. If I raise the values, it means more people want to sell. You can see where, obviously, the because that's how I do business. Now, why is that? It's because the person who previously sold in that building may have not been selling using the right methods. It may have been because there was an issue surrounding the building. It may be because the, build, the sales that were sold in that building were undervalued, where units were, which were in terrible condition. There may have been situations around that sale, which meant it had to be sold very quickly, which means a lower price. So you can't always determine value from the sales in your own complex. So what you want to know is, okay, what other buildings compare to the building your apartment is in? What are those sales? And then the big one is, if you've got a specialist who specializes in apartments, they're going to know exactly what the buttons are that determine value for your apartment. For example, if it's an investor apartment, it comes down to rent and outgoings. If it's a owner-occupier apartment, it's like, what is the emotional appeal here? Are you going to get somebody who really wants to live here? Does it have a lot of light? Is it in a good location? Does it have a car park? Things like that. Is it in a hotel lease, which means it's purely on return? Is it two bedroom? Is it one bedroom? Is it a studio? Is it the size? Is it bankable? Is it over 40 square metres? Or is it over 50 square metres? Because this bank means you can lend on it. These kind of things. So what, when you're talking to a, an apartment specialist, you want them to tell you why your apartment's worth what it is worth. Not and, and leaving out the sales. Because turn the agents, just look at previous sales and go, it's worth this, and it's not right. And I've, we prove this time and time again, it's very frustrating. So you, there is a lot of trust you've got to put in your agent, but you can ask them questions to be able to tell them if they, if they really know your building, your complex, and, and, and the potential of your apartment, not what the previous sales are. So I hope that helps. It's a bit of a grey area, so a hard one to ex explain. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is don't just solely rely, rely on the sales that have been in your building. Ask for more information. Ask for other buildings that compare it. Anyway, I hope that helps. And yeah, talk soon. Cheers.